Greetings from St. Paul's Catholic Books and Gifts here in Anaheim, California. Today we want to share with you our expanded candle selection here. And first of all, let's recap on what the candle signifies in the Catholic Church. So, the candle has three distinguishing parts. The wax, the wick, and the flame. Now the wax signifies the flesh of Jesus, the wick his soul, and the flame is his divinity. With that said, I want to introduce to you one of our newest candles. It's 100% beeswax, 12 inch taper candle fits into a nice socket. The beeswax is the most commonly used wax in our Catholic Church because of Jesus's purity. You know, beeswax is made all natural by the working bees that uh, suck the nectar, nectar from plants and create the wax in their, in their honey combs. So uh, this is the best, most purest candle to help signify our Lord Jesus Christ. So with the beeswax, I have two choices for you. I have the large, tall pillar here, 100% beeswax, and this new taper candle I have there, um, $9.95 for the smaller of the two. And then with those, we have a good variety of candles for other sacraments. We have your First Communion candle choices, your baptism, confirmation, and even a wedding uh, to shall become one assortment for uh, candles there for all your sacraments. With that said, we're going to come down to the next shelf and show you our expanded um, cereal, cereal or Paschal or Easter candles, whatever you want to call it. It has many names. This candle here. Signified by the Lamb, the Cross, the Alpha, and the Omega, the Cidio or Paschal Candle is a traditional Easter candle. So Easter is coming up here, uh, first weekend of April. So you will see the church at Mass receive on Easter Vigil the new candle for the year. Nice, tall, Paschal candle. It also has usually the year on it, so it'll have 2021. And that is going to be burned in Mass all through the Easter season. And you'll see it also burned at baptisms and funerals at Mass. So keep your eye out for that. Some families like to have these in their home for prayer time if someone's sick. Um, and also just for tradition. A lot of the Mexican culture has these studios. And actually these are all imported from Mexico. So they are made with that care and love of, of our friends down south. So we also have these two new uh, mini pillars. I have the uh, Divine Mercy and also the St. Benedict Medal candle. And this one here is two-sided. So it's got the St. Benedict Medal front and back. You can also get these blessed at your Easter vigil and have this as your personal uh, candle for the Easter season as well. Another choice we've always had, but it's good to kind of touch base on this and why we have these. The Gleam Lights are basically a really clean type of a burning candle. The candle um, keeps the flame um, contained in these jars so it doesn't get uh, too you know big or wild. That's why you can keep these burning for a consistent five days. So they're available in white and they're also available in red. The red signifies Jesus. If you ever noticed in the near the tabernacle inside every Catholic church, there will be an ever burning red candle and that must remain burning at all times to signify the presence of Jesus there in the tabernacle. So some like to have these red ones in their home too for that reminder as well. Um, but a lot of your churches are going to be using these for their offertory candles. Um, when you light a candle and make a prayer petition, you keep that candle burning um, to signify your petition. So that's a little bit on those there. But people like to use those in their home as well. As we come down to the next shelf, we have a little variety. I have a few battery candles and I have some um, white candles. These can be used for your... Um, sick call set or your portable mass kit. These little white candles are good for just a quick burn, maybe a 30 minute burn, as well as these little pascualitos, which are also imported from Mexico and they're the mini version of that Pascal candle. Um, we have some white tapers, tall and short. And I wanna introduce to you now our brand new selection of scented candles. We proudly introduce to you today our mystical rose, Lily of St. Joseph and Christ the King scented candles. These candles are made right here in the United States and another small business. It is a 10 ounce glass jar with a lid. This is gonna help contain your scent. 
This one in particular we called Mystical Rose. And, if, and again, you can only find these here. These are our exclusive candles. And whoa, I just opened this and it smells so good. Mystical Rose is the scent of rose petals. So if you really want to make a, a scent in your home of prayer and reflection, especially for rosary time, this is your candle, Mystical Rose. But I also have Lily of St. Joseph, which is perfect since we are now in the year of St. Joseph and coming up to March, the month of St. Joseph, and even into Easter right after that, the lily scent, also very natural. Oh, this is great. I love these candles. And you have your lid that you can contain this to keep that scent under control when you don't want to have that scent in your house. Um, but these are all natural soy coconut wax melt um, mix. The wick is all natural, it's a wood wick. And at first I was like, I never seen a wood wick. But now that I've done my, um, my, my use and my research on these, these are really cool. This will last you 55 to 60 hours, so it's a long time. And um, they're just the, the beautiful, I'm gonna show you right here, the flame is just so beautiful. But before I do that, I also want you to see Christ the King, which is infused with uh, frankincense and myrrh. And I've heard from some of you how you wanna have that smell of church in your house. Well, I've got you covered here with this frankincense and myrrh, Christ the King candle. It smells just like incense you find in the Catholic church. And you can safely burn this in your home for prayer time or anytime. But with that, let me show you. Last night we burnt our candle we got one yesterday, and I burnt it for about three and a half hours, and it only went down about that much. It gives you an idea of the burn time. But this little wick, you just catch it on fire there. Did it catch? You just gotta catch it on fire, and then it's going to give you a beautiful flame. It's also gonna give you a little crackle, and I just trimmed it. Okay, good. I just trimmed it. That's probably why I didn't catch. It's important to keep your wick trimmed and short, so I'm learning this too. But this little wood wick here, is going to open up. It's gonna crackle. If you get close, you can hear it. You probably can't hear it over the, the chant in the background, but it's crackling. And the flame, as you see, is getting really big. And it's a really, it's a wide flame, not a big, tall flame, but a wide flame, which really, as we just talked about, is gonna signify the divinity of Jesus, especially in your home. In about 15 minutes, that scent's gonna to start to come out. And it's a real subtle scent, not overpowering or perfumey. It is just a real natural scent. When I came into the bedroom last night after it was on for about a half hour, I felt like I was outdoors in a field of lilies. So this is the Lily of St. Joseph scent. So I just am really excited to bring this to you guys. If you would like to have these scents in your home, office space, you know, your prayer corner, wherever, I highly recommend them. So please come and check them out. You can also find them on our online store and they're available for only a $5 shipping fee. So um, please shop us at St. Paul's Catholic Books and Gifts .com, or come into our store at 1131 West Lincoln Avenue in Anaheim, adjacent to Starbucks, across from Ruby's Diner, and just a block from the I-5 Freeway. And we're open seven days a week. And please subscribe to our channel. We make these videos for you so that you can learn about our products and how to, how to grow in your spiritual life. So if you have any suggestions on videos you'd like to, us to do for you regarding rosaries, chaplets, uh, meditations, anything, just let us know in the comments. Um, but definitely give us a thumbs up if you can, and I hope to see you soon.